Howdy y'all, Nashi Nick Anktil here. Today I'm going to review some Conclave Control replays and show you the deck in action a little bit. It was requested by Terrence to do this, so I thought it was a good idea, so I want to show you guys, and maybe it'll teach you guys something new. So if you feel like you've been losing a lot of your Crystal Beast games, or you don't feel like you're doing well enough with the deck, hopefully this video will teach you a thing or two, and you'll learn something new. Let's get into it. So obviously some of these replays are going to be a little bit more rogue than others. Start off with this. This is a hero best of three. Hero is usually like a deck where it's, you know, it's, it's like a solid deck. You open uh, not very well at all. Obviously I have the Ash for the Fusion Destiny and he just passes. I don't know why he's playing downbeat. But here we have Ash. Like oh, we didn't open very well either. Like the only good card is Master. That's why we play three. Always want to open that starter. And then we have a lore too, but then, so we just Ash the Fusion Destiny, he sets Impermanent Passes, you know, the, there's not really much he could do there. We go ahead and just Allure, see if we can draw another starter, there we go, because that's why we went Allure first, because even if we didn't, we have the follow-up where we have Tortoise and then summon Rainbow Drag uh, Zenith from our hand. Go ahead and go for, you know, that early push for damage, and then we have Valor for when he has a follow-up because obviously we knew that he didn't really have anything so we're we're just free to shotgun the allure there and look we drew we got rewarded from risky play we drew into a bridge so now we're going into bond and then add pegasus put Z zenith in the back row zenith going to summon out tiger and then we're going to go into battle phase to get the zenith out of our hand push for a bunch of damage and then afterward we're going to overlay into granite, trying to search Nibiru, because Nibiru is pretty dang good against heroes, but we get hit with the Imperm, unfortunately. <laughs> that would have been funny. But, yeah, we, th this is pretty much game. Uh, he has increased mass change, so out comes Dark Law. Then he downbeats into Ferris. Like, that. that's neat, I guess. I mean, Dark Law, obviously not that great against Zenith, because Zenith could just beat over it. That's what's so awesome about the card too, it's just a big body. And then we just Valor the Ferris and that's game from there. <clears throat> so let's go ahead into game two with heroes, or against heroes. So they open, eee! That's really good hand, that's like FTK almost for heroes. Uh, they're going to end on a really insane board. But let's go ahead and talk about our hand real quick while they're comboing off. Obviously we allure away the master here because we already opened Pegasus. And then we have Conclave. We keep drawing this tortoise, man. He's old, he's great, but I just don't like seeing him in my hand. So the Pegasus is probably going to have to carry us and the Conclave. And then see what we can get off of this allure. Like, solid hand, definitely, don't get me wrong. But, I mean, they're just kind of going off right here. They have Sunriser. We know that they searched the Miracle Fusion off Sunriser and then Dark Calling. We know that this is a mass change off of the Wonder Driver. So we're, we're dealing with a Bane. He can't be destroyed by Battle or Card Effects. Dark Law with mass change, so he could just go into another Dark Law. So double Dark Law. And then we have Sunrise uh, for Battle. And then the Stratos is just chilling there. So here we go, we're going to top deck into another Conclave. Not amazing, but like, Conclave is such a good removal card, you're going to see why. So Pegasus going to get Zenith, trying to bait out something right now. Before we use Zenith, we're going to go ahead and set our important cards that we don't want them to hit after we search the Rainbow Dark Dragon. So Dark Law is going to snipe a card out. Unfortunately, it was the Rainbow Dark Dragon. I'd much rather have it be the Tortoise. But then we're going to Allure, Chain Mass Change, uh, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but we're going to draw and then banish the master. Then Dark Law is going to get the tortoise out of our hand, which is pretty good. I mean, I'd rather have these two cards than that tortoise anyway. Screw that guy. But there's not really any good plays we can make out of here. I want to, I wanted to kind of like see what we could do with Conclave maybe, but right now we just really need to stall. Like I, I just kind of saw this as a losing game. I, I was just like, alright, our best chance is we need to stall until we see a bond or something like that. Like a really good starter, a bridge, a bond, a master, any of those will get to where to what we need, right? So we put everything in defense. It's kind of a stall game right now. They drew in perm, which is like pretty good. 
they they couldn't use it to out the Baguska, but then they link into the BLS link. What the heck? <laughs> who plays that? So Miracle Fusion is gonna get out this guy. I don't know who plays this either. Like, what the heck is that? <laughs> And then we're going to top deck Crystal Bond. That's where I'm like, okay, we're in this now. We're in this game. Crystal Bond, that, that's like one heck of a top deck. We're going to go ahead and fire off these Conclaves and then give us Pegasus to our hand. Zenith in the back row. You know the deal. Give us another Zenith. The, here's where I messed up. I should have summoned the, the other Pegasus from my deck. Uh, I wasn't really thinking ahead here because then we could have made uh, Axis Code Talker, obviously with Granite and Halky Fibrax, but we didn't we didn't really do that, so that that was a misplay. But I mean, we still make something great out of this. Wanted to put Zenith in the back row to add to our hand off of Conclave. That's a little bit of thinking ahead uh, because I'd rather have that instead of the follow up for next turn because realistically we're not li living another turn, so we want to try and break his board as much as we can. Going to Allure and pitch the rainbow dark and then we're going to use conclave bounce the bane and then blessing bring back the pegasus and the tiger so we actually still do have the pegasus i don't know why i'm bouncing back that imperm like i don't know what i was afraid of this was a misplay i'll admit but i mean we we still do pretty well here we're going to summon out the zenith and then we're gonna trigger core's effect with that that's fine like we just wanted to get rid of it but then core uh Let's increase trigger, and then increase is just kind of chilling. He top decks emergency call, like I guess eye for an eye. We top deck bond, he top, top decks e call, so that's fine. So we're gonna actually just let him kind of combo off here. We're not going to Valor uh, any of these guys because then he could just chain increase to tribute them off because it's a continuous trap. And then we're just gonna keep letting him summon there. We could have Valored the increase. But I just really want to hit him with a Nibiru. That's pretty much the only way we're going to get out of this. So he's going to attempt to go into battle. We're going to hit him with a hard Nibiru with like a butt ton of attack. But then only 300 defense because we used Dread Decimator, BLS Link, Zenith. What monster gave him defense? It's the Ruby. <laughs> so it's just this 8800 thing with a 300 booty. And so we're just going to summon Sapphire Pegasus and, you know, the top deck Promise, which is like, oh, this is definitely game. So Promise, and then now we go into Granite, now we can finally go into Access Code Talker. 53 plus 3000, that's game. If you want to see this combo, then this is it. This combo is so neat. Shoutouts to Ryan Yu for pretty much bringing this out into the light. This is so cool. Increase is going to trigger, we don't care because we won. See, that's an instance I totally thought because of our misplays that was the losing game. But, I mean, Nibiru is a really good card, what can I say? <laughs> Nibiru and Axis Code Talker, like, and the Conclaves, honestly, they kind of carried us too. This is versus Nemesis. Uh, kind of a rogue deck. I'm just going to kind of sit here. Not really going to say much, but, this, I mean... It's unfortunate we drew into these. I honestly don't really like Beacon, gotta say. Beacon's like one of my least favorite Crystal Beast cards. I know, I know, I know, it's weird, but like, look at this, like, obviously we could do, like, we have Bond Beacon, whoa, but we already use our normal summon, so we're not getting enough for Beacon. Every time I have Beacon, I never really have enough to get it off. I'm sure some of you can relate to that. Others of you might be like, Nick, you're high or something. Beacon is like the best card in the deck. <laughs> I don't think so. Beacon's really nice though, I'll admit. It's nice, just not what I'd like. So we're just gonna kind of give follow-up for next turn and like try not to get OTK'd. Obviously we have Nibiru if we do get OTK'd, but if we're playing against Adam Emancipator, then that, that's it. Thankfully we're playing against, like, I, I thought it was Isolde here, like I thought it was just a warrior based deck, but then they summon Umbrella and I'm like, what, is this pure nemesis? Because I saw that other guy that they pitched make access code talker, and then that thing, I'm like, it is Nemesis. And then that's unfortunately the, the sixth summon, so we're just going to hit him with an Abiru. And yeah, you can see we have game on board right here. Normal summon Pegasus for game. Oh, we got an effect Valored. That's fine. We probably could have used Master. Like, the that's the thing. It's like, I, I guess Master probably would have been correct there to stop 
from getting targeted, but I wouldn't know that he had effect veiler in hand, like, let alone two. So we have to OTK through two effect veilers, which is fine. We can still do that. They're going to veiler our area. We're trying to area their area. Area zero. No, I'm just kidding. Since we have a rock, what's funny is we can just summon researcher since we have Nibiru, and then go into Helki Fibrax uh, just to get a little bit less damage. <laughs> And then just go into Alpalusa and just control the game from here. They're going to activate their one monster effect. We have five cards versus their one. And yeah, that's that's just a weird rogue deck. Uh, versus Shadal. This is interesting. So we're opening Ash, double Allure. We're going to try and just go into our other Rainbow Dark so that we don't draw into it. And then go into another one. We draw into three Ashes. <laughs> And then Nibiru and a Conclave, like, yeah, this, this is pretty good. <laughs> but we can't use Zenith at all anymore because we use both of our Rainbow Darks. And we have, I don't know, I just don't like those three ashes looking at me that way. We're going to Dweller, just like, we have no idea what we're facing. For some reason, they're going to call by the, the Sapphire Pegasus. I don't know why. If they didn't do that and they saved the call by for the Shadal Fusion, then it's like then it would have been much better but I'm just gonna fire off this conclave in whatever case it's like a weird going second shit all deck so yeah we're just gonna ash the shit all fusion and they're gonna set super poly and pass uh, we're gonna conclave just to get Pegasus back uh, realistically we could have bonded for Pegasus but I mean I would rather search Zenith off of the bond instead so that we just push in for a lot more damage so Zenith is gonna come down score massive damage and then we have two ashes and a biru for whatever he tries to do next so what he tries to do next is <laughs> he just kaijus the zenith sets three and just risks it all with the lore and then we have the ash for that and then that's pretty much game right there so the last replay i want to show you guys is versus trickstar this one was like the weirdest thing but it was like so grindy i think you guys are really gonna learn a lot from this one and it's just like, this is one of the first replays I got with this deck, with Conclave Control. Uh, it was really cool, it was really fun. But they have this card, Contract with, what is it, Contract with Dark Dom Thousand. So, what he does is he reincarnations me for seven, or six, yeah seven, how did I get seven, oh yeah, we drew one off of that thing. So, now since we reveal the spell card, off of it we can't normal summon our set so we can't normal summon our pegasus unfortunate we set imperm try to negate it so that we were back online for next turn they top deck candy or licorice and then swing in um next turn like that that's fine i know trickstar can't kill me so i'm not too worried and then we have ash if they do get like light stage or uh candina or something like that then we should have impermed here to not lose 200 but it's, it's fine. E EDO Pro didn't prompt me, so that's why I didn't do it. <laughs> we're going to Imperm it now, so that we're, we can go ahead and normal summon our Pegasus Crackdown. Yeah, that's not doing anything, just put another Pegasus, promise it out, put Zenith in the back row finally, and then we're going to Zenith out of Topaz Tiger, and then we're going to lure away the Zenith real quick, see what we can get. We drew into some pretty insane cards, and then we're going to use Bond, then we're going to summon just Zenith again, Ash the Metaverse, they called by. That's That kind of sucks, now they get out Mystic Mine. Uh, they already had Mystic Mine in hand, but that's fine. Now we just go into Unicorn, uh, so that we have one and one, so that Mystic Mine's destroyed. And then we get rid of this darn card, so that we can finally Normal Summon. And then Mystic Mine dies in the end phase. I didn't want to Unicorn the Crackdown or the Pegasus because Mystic Mind would still be up, right? So I wanted mine to just be destroyed, plus he can't do anything with the Pegasus. One of these days I'll get rid of that Crackdown so we get our Pegasus back. Then get Licorice. It's so dumb how Reincarnation is able to just reborn something. Licorice beats over with Corbane, and then we have Pegasus for next turn though, so we're, we're chilling. We're good. We take 200, and I hate that so much. We're just gonna beat over it, a little bit of a longer game but like they're down to only a couple cards and I feel like we have the advantage right here 
Uh, set rotation is a big top deck. This is like plus three right here because light stage is at one, but that's fine if you have set rotation and terraforming. Comment if you think light stage should go to two. I honestly don't like trick star at all, so I really hope it doesn't. We're going to take a good uh, chunk of damage right there. Uh, they link summon for some reason. <laughs> Whoa, trick stars have link monsters? Yeah. And then we're going to set tortoise. <laughs> Our boy has a big butt, and then we have Conclave to bounce back his Link and give us a, our Pegasus. Nibiru isn't doing anything right now, gotta say. So we're going he's gonna activate that thing again. It's giving me nightmares. We're gonna give us a Pegasus, and then he's gonna run into that, losing 200. We're down to 400 life points, man. We gotta make something happen. Like, and every it, we can't activate one spell card or else we immediately lose the duel so good thing we're just going to normal summon pegasus and then put topaz tiger there and then try and crash into the the candina and we're just kind of protecting our life points with tortoise right now he's the guardian the top deck conclave which is pretty sweet because then we can give him back this crackdown and then take our pegasus back so that's what we're going to do and then we get another pegasus but what the heck is this chain energy <laughs> each player must pay 500 life points per card to normal summons special summoner set activate cards so like we have to pay for the duel in order to play Yu-Gi-Oh okay we're going to crack down that uh, not crack down conclave that and we're going to link into Nightmare Phoenix with our Pegasus that we got back. So we didn't summon it from the hand, so we're good to go ahead and pop that stupid chain energy by pitching this other stupid Nibiru. <laughs> and then link into Selene to get our access code talker. Man, this is such a good combo. Unfortunately, he's at 54. That kind of sucks. For some reason, he called by the Selene, I guess, so we don't get more pops, but it's like, okay, that's fine. Pop the light stage, and they're back to top decking. Uh, they set their crackdown again, get their Licorice, and then Licorice gives us, beats us with 200. We normal summon Pegasus for game, because our opponent's like, yeah, I'm sick of seeing normal summon Pegasus. That's the best normal summon in the game. <laughs> But that replay was really cool because it kind of showed how grindy this deck can be and how it can outpace some other decks. Like, you might think, control deck, how is it outpacing other grindy decks? Because Conclave gives you so much gas. It's a gas card and an interruption. It's like Reincarnation, right? It, but it's like, Reincarnation only gives you uh, gas from the Banish effect, but it's only a Reborn, right? But Conclave... Conclave just does so much for the deck, and I just love how this deck implements it, and Crystal Master. I'm gushing about this too much, but if you guys liked watching this video, if you guys want to see more kind of game analysis replay about different variations of Crystal Beasts, right now it's going to be Conclave Control for a while. I'm really loving this deck until the ban list. Make sure to like and subscribe, and join the Crystal Beast Duelist to join in on the community and the conversation. I'll see you guys in the next video.